Hey guys, Reese from RK Garage here. Quick little video today to show you guys how you put dowels in cranks. It seems a lot of guys don't know that you need to do this or don't know how to. So, roughly got all the materials we have on the table, so we'll switch over to the camera. So, obviously, you need your final clutch, you need your dowels, you need M8 um, steel dowels or alloy steel, whatever you need. Um, you use a 5 16th drill bit, so I've got that there. Also, a few smaller drill bits. Hammer, it's not going to dowel in. Uh, I like to use vernier, vernier calipers to measure how deep I need to drill the hole. Um, and I've got some old bolts here, just a temporary bolt this on, because I bolted on to drill it, and make sure it's centre, you can't go wrong. And then I've got all the gear to properly put this on. Most importantly, you need a beer. Don't forget, let's take a drink. <sighs> All right, let's move over to here. So, you want to get the firewall, line it up so that it lines up with all the bolts. This just makes sure that the crank is nice and flat. Then I like to just remove the ones around the holes you're drilling. Just so we don't uh, hit the bolts. Don't forget, most importantly, have a drink. Now, we get our 5 16th drill bit, and then I just start it. That way it marks the centre so that when we get a smaller drill bit, we are able to drill that. Now we haven't forgotten about that, this is a step that I like to do with my verniers. Don't forget, most importantly, have a drink. So you always turn it on, zero it, zero it, then find out how deep that is. That's 30.76 mil or 1.2 inches. So let's just do it on another one to verify. 30.3, basically 1.2. So I lock this in so it can't move. And then basically I get my drill bit, line it up, and then I tape it. So I know that I drill up to the tape. All right, now that it's very marked, I like to get my pilot bit, get it on the center. Don't forget, most importantly, have a drink. When you get your dowel, you will notice one has a tapered edge and one will have basically flat. The tapered edge goes in first, that just helps centre it. And then you just hammer it in. There you go, and then if you drilled at the right depth and you ordered the right size dowel, you won't need to mark and grind it. I got my markers just in case. These dowels are M8 by 25, so they're 25 mil. Don't forget, most importantly, have a drink. And there you have it. That's how you put dowels in your crank.
And then now you can go along and put your firewall bolts in properly. Why I like to do that, because that's already centered, is I just take out the rest apart from two, put in all my bolts. I use ARP bolts and red Loctite and all these. I don't use the ones they come with the cotch. I don't like them. I do not want a flywheel through my legs. So ARP, you gotta buy two packs because they come in packs of five, I think it is, or six, I don't know, but you need eight. They're like 50, 60 bucks. So 100 or so bucks for ARP flywheel bolts and it's good security against saving your legs. So I'm gonna carry on and do all this. It'll be in the main feature video about putting this motor together and everything. And uh, yeah, but if you're watching this on YouTube, then we're gonna carry on.